This is Matt with Movement Resilience, and right now we're going to talk about the importance of grip strength and how to hold weights, whether it's a barbell, a kettlebell, a dumbbell, or so on and so forth. So I think we all know the benefits of grip strength in the sport of powerlifting, Olympic weightlifting, crossfitting, or any other sort of sport or competition that involves lifting weights, right? Or strongmen for that matter. Now, what made me, what got, what got the, the ball spinning in my head, so to speak, was that um, this past week, my friends from India just came into town, Sandeep and Prashanti from the strength system, their gym in India, and they gave me this shirt. So it says, um, curing iron deficiency. And it made me really think about, you know, how we view uh, grip strength in the weight room and the performance center and so on and so forth, and even in the clinic and, and rehabilitative um, settings. So what I, what I think often happens is, most folks miss the boat in terms of understanding that grip strength is so important for not only long-term health and resilience, which is backed up by research, but just in terms of becoming more effective, not only in performance training and fitness and health, but overall stuff you do when you're not in the gym setting. Think of carrying groceries, picking something up, and just everyday functional daily activities. It's so beneficial. So what I wanna look at is understanding how to grip a weight properly, and understanding how to do it effectively to make your training that much better, okay? So when I see someone do a, an exercise where they only need one arm to hold a weight, let's say it's a one-arm row, let's say it's a you know, one-arm uh, one holding you know, weight lunge variation, something where one arm holds a weight and the other arm is free, you'll often see something along the lines of this. Like the suitcase carry is a great example. You'll see this, something like this. This arm will be free, it's flailing, it's trying to balance, it's loose, it's spaghetti-like, it's not creating stiffness and rigidity, coming down, getting some irradiation, lighting up the core, it's not really helping in terms of the overall exercise, right? So we wanna mitigate that by taking the free hand, so in this case it would have been my left hand, right? Take just like a squishy ball, tennis ball, um, a, a Poland Springs water bottle that is, it's empty, but the cap is still on, so it is kind of puffed up and there's pressure in there. That, that, serves, uh, some, that serves a good point as well. A towel, something that you can squeeze essentially, okay? Grip strength that you can gain from that, all right? So a variation of this exercise you could, that you know you could be utilized, like it could be much better for you, is think of, I'm gonna squeeze the life out of this ball here, okay? I'm just gonna walk with it there. I guarantee you, it will become a bit more shoulder friendly, but you'll also feel your core on that side light up as well. It just makes the exercise that much better and more efficient, and it has direct carryover into everyday life. Um, I picked this thought process up from my the Strong First user course that I went to um, last April with Artemis Cantalides, and I think it's something that Chris Merritt from Beyond Strength Nova said, making the handle bleed, right? So, Yes, the off hand, the hand that's not holding the weight can hold an object, or even just make a fist and squeeze. But the hand that's actually holding the weight, right, the kettlebell in this case, could be a barbell, could be a dumbbell, so on and so forth. You wanna think of squeezing this handle so hard that you're trying to make it bleed. Okay, you're trying to make that bleed, that's the goal, okay? Um, an analogy that I like to use in the rehab setting or with the athletes or the clients that I work with in fitness and health is that, bear with me here, Someone stole your pocketbook or your luggage for that matter, okay? That individual ran off, your pocketbook or your luggage had all your belongings, your money, things that are valuable to you, okay? You ended up catching that individual, okay? You took them by the neck and you choked them, right? Bear with me here with the analogy. That's how I want you to treat the handle of the weight. Squeeze the life out of that weight. That's gonna help you gain more grip strength and help you in life and in performance overall.